Greetings duelists, welcome to another video. Um, so, on my last recording, i spoken about how two elements uh, have very, very, very high level of success in Master Duel. Um, I figured I'd show a replay. Um, it was the first duel I had. Um, like, when I started playing on in Rated in Master Duel. Um, take note, it's low rank, so like don't take a high level of consideration like the level of skill and play that my opponent has but uh i just figured i'd show because my first match was against i think you can guess it by now um i'll give you like 10 seconds to guess 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, three, two, one. Um, yeah. So my opponent is playing Ichizu Tier Element. Um, so uh, I'm not going to explain like a lot of plays that are happening in this duel. All I'm going to, I, I'm just gonna fast forward it because it, this was a very long duel. Um, like I'm just showcasing like what my opponent is doing on his first turn. And showcasing like just how powerful the deck is and like just showing all the levels of things that you can do like as you can already see there's already like seven eight twenty cards in the graveyard um and this happened with just so many little cards I already have ten in my graveyard because he milled with the Ichizu cards twice um, Yes, you can see there are multiple monsters being summoned on the board. There's a category, there's a mixed category between fusions, synchros, and like XYZ. Um, I'm going to pause here for a little, for a second. Um, you will notice that my opponent is not familiar with either my strategy or the things that I'm going to be doing because, um. I will be summoning something very soon that is going to make it very problematic for him. Like for example, he could have negated that. He could have prevented the summon. He could have maxed before I, I, I immediately like triggered the trap card. Um, so I went Baguska Pass. Um, pretty much, I contested. Uh, the current board he has right now however this will get more ridiculous later on um, he will be summoning more monsters he will be doing a lot of more things um, also if anybody's curious about the deck I'm playing I'm playing a hybrid between Luna Lights, Tri Brigades and Scareclaw um, if you are interested in the deck profile I'll probably do one very soon um, but this is like a current deck that I was testing and playing in Master Duel. It was the most fun I was having with um, until the release of, you know, tier. tier. Um, but yeah, um, I just gotta keep the duel going. Uh, he triggered Halfness, he milled with Halfness. Um, this is just him doing a lot of things. Um, until the Spaguska is outed, he cannot on my board, at least with the current cards he has. But there are, don't be fooled, this deck has answers to Baguska. It has a bunch of them. Um, like, Teodemon Soliak is one example of something that he can use. Um, Meta Noise is an example of another card he can use, and he does run them. Um, he does have Shufflers. So he can send back his trap cards and s and search it with Kekalos. Uh, Tiamat Scream is another good card. Um, summoning Link monsters is also ideal because, um, like, if this Dark Charmer was higher than two K, it could have ran over the Baguska. Um, but yeah, like, again, this is just an example of my opponent being rudimentary with the deck and just not knowing how to contest against the current board. Um, I will mention here, I'll give a small spoiler, I do a very crucial misplay. The misplay is right here. 
I summoned Nightmare Phoenix and I popped the the scream. Uh, I should have popped the Grave Keeper trap. The number one reason for that is because eventually he will mill Exchange of the Spirit and. With Exchange of Spirit being milled means I cannot reborn monsters from my graveyard, which means these tigers will be dead. Uh, my uh, Skyclaw uh, Triheart will also be dead. Um, I will have a lot of cards that I cannot uh, use because of this Gravekeeper's Trap. And that mistake pretty much cost me the duel because it means that I could not amass more advantage and I could not play over my opponent. Um, that being said, uh, I'm just gonna keep letting this play out, um, and just have my opponent, like, do everything else he wants to do. As you can see already here, there are two cards left on the deck, now there's five, because he shuffled them back, but, yeah, the fact that you, he already had two cards in his deck, after, like, a couple turns, kinda already shows you how strong this deck is at milling. There's already like almost 30 cards in the graveyard. Um, if we've seen all the Shizu Shufflers being used, uh, there he's still missing one Modora. Um, he has a nice Royal Rail. Um, but yeah, um, this is going to be a problem. Um, not for me in particular, but at least for a lot of people playing Master Duel, you will have a lot of duels like this. Um, not in the sense of there's being a lot of back and forth, I mean on the sense of just being very strong and oppressive to a level that I just cannot contend with. Um, but yeah, um, this is a prelude of what you're going to expect in Master Duel. There's going to be a lot of duels like this. Um, like, there's going to be a lot of back and forth. Um, it's going to be a lot of confusing games. Um, pretty ma Mainly because of tier mirrors, or probably like other decks that are similar to tier in that aspect. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, expect more Master Duel content from me in the future, most likely. Uh, the next Master Duel video I'll probably do is either a tier limit deck profile or a deck profile involving my Tri Brigade Luna deck. Um, it only comes to the matter of if I can get the cards. Um, because I have no gems at the moment. <laughs> um, that being said, uh, thanks for tuning in. Keep practicing and keep dueling.